The UK climate varies due to the UK's location on our planet being mid-latitude between the most northerly part of our planet and the equator. If we were then to take a UK map and split it into four regions or sections, we would find that the northeast of the UK experiences cold winters and cool summers, whereas compared to the southeast of the UK, we receive cold winters and warm summers. If we compare to the southwest of the UK, we will get mild winters and warm summers, whereas the northwest of the UK receives mild winters and cool summers. We can therefore argue that the British Isles has a temperate climate. Temperate meaning a climate or a place which is never extremely hot or extremely cold. The first factor which influences the UK's climate is ocean currents. In the UK specific example we are looking at today, we are focusing on the Gulf Stream and the North Atlantic Drift. This particular ocean current is responsible for moderating the climate of Western Europe so that winters are less cold than would otherwise be expected at this particular latitude on our planet. Without the warm North Atlantic drift, the UK and other places in Europe would be as cold as Canada at the same latitude. Therefore, the ocean currents are drawn up north through the Atlantic Ocean towards the UK and provide this warm water to travel towards Britain. The second factor which influences the UK's climate is distance from the equator. The sun sends solar radiation towards our planet. Now, at the equator, the sunlight strikes the most directly and therefore the most intense, which means that at the equator, there is a more concentrated level of sunlight leading to warmer temperatures. At 30 degrees north and 30 degrees south of the equator, we will receive a less direct amount of sunlight. Whereas at 60 degrees north and 60 degrees south of our planet, there is a low angle of incoming sunlight, which means that temperatures are lower. And this is where we will experience Arctic tundra and the polar biomes. The third factor which influences the UK's climate is altitude or height above sea level. This is where locations at high altitude or mountainous regions experience colder temperatures at the summit or the tops of mountains. On average, temperatures usually decrease by one degree Celsius for every 100 meters in altitude you travel above sea level. This is why the tops of mountains are always the coldest. The fourth factor which influences the UK's climate is known as prevailing winds. Prevailing winds are the most dominant wind direction an area receives. The temperature of the wind and the amount of precipitation partly depends on where the air has originally traveled from. If we are then to look at the air and see where it originates, this will help us explain the characteristics of our weather. A large body of air with similar characteristics is called an air mass. There are six air masses that affect the UK. The first being the Arctic maritime air mass. Maritime meaning traveling over a body of water. This particular air mass travels from the Arctic. It is wet, cold air, which brings snow in winter. Another air mass is the polar continental air mass, which travels over land. It travels from Central Europe. When this air mass is hot, it brings dry summers. But when the air mass is cold, it brings snow in winter. The polar maritime air mass, traveling from Greenland and the Arctic Sea, again, maritime meaning traveling over a body of water, is a wet, cold air, which brings cold, showery weather. Returning polar maritime, traveling from Greenland, the Arctic, but via the North Atlantic Ocean, 
is usually moist, mild and unstable air, which brings cloud and rain showers. We also receive tropical maritime air mass, which travels from the Atlantic Ocean. This is a warm, moist air which brings cloud, rain and some mild weather. And lastly, the tropical continental air mass. Again, continental as it is traveling over land, and in this case, traveling from North Africa, is a hot, dry air which brings hot weather in summer. The fifth and final factor which influences the UK's climate is distance from the sea. This is because oceans can heat up and cool down much slower than land. This means that coastal locations tend to be cooler in summer and warmer in winter in comparison to places inland at the same latitude and altitude. If we then apply this theory to Southport, we can see that Southport will receive cooler summers than the rest of the UK, but yet slightly warmer winters, which therefore means that Southport is less likely to receive snowfall.